In this video, we will learn about the third discounted measure of project worth, which is known as the net benefit investment ratio. It is also represented with this acronym. So after establishing its acronym, we can understand what it is. Simply speaking, it is the present worth of the sum of positive net benefits divided by the present worth of the sum of negative net benefits. It should be negative, so we must not be mistaken. So uh, this is the ratio of the positive net benefits, their sum, and the negative net benefits. The positive net benefits, we can call them net benefits, and the negative net benefits, we can call them investment. It is so because when it comes to the positive net benefits, it means that the benefits are greater than the costs. And when it comes to the negative net benefits it means that the benefits are less than the cost so in that case cost component or investment component is uh, bulkier as compared to the benefit side so this is why we call it net benefits and investments their ans their value is written here uh, in a in a summation form summation from one to a certain level wherever the benefits are positive that is net benefits positive and then net benefits that are negative so we have discounted them both and we have taken their ratio and definitely a ratio is compared with one because you want to see that if the denominator is the greater or the numerator so let's get to this example in a numerical way the instance of uh, net benefit ratio can be done numerically by using the same example that we have been resorting to for the sake of NPV and BCR. Now we are going to use the NK ratio uh, for, for on the same um, stream of benefits and costs. You are well familiar with this uh, stream. It is of 10 years and uh, Definitely, we can calculate the net benefits from it. You are well familiar with these columns. You can watch those videos if ha you haven't. The video of BCR and NPV. So, so to get uh, some idea of uh, what these uh, columns are. And then we have the discounting factor. And finally, we have the discounted net benefits. This is something we have calculated before. So, these are the values. They are of different color. That is red and green. And you can already guess that why we have uh, highlight uh, used the red font here because these are negative values and when we have negative values it means that these are the discounted net benefits however they are unfavorable here the net benefits from the fourth year they are positive so we say that they are positive discounted net benefits and they are favorable as well yes they are because here the benefits are likely to be greater than the costs whereas in this case the costs the, or the benefits they were less than the costs. so this is the difference between the two so after understanding this thing we can um, jot the sum of these I can take the sum of the red uh, values and the green values if I sum the green values, I will get this answer, which is the sum of the positive discounted net benefits. And the values that are red, if they are summed, we get 48.037. And the sum would be negative uh, sum of the discounted negative discounted net benefits. So now we divide them as per the formula. 
and the formula uh, is again mentioned here uh, as it was mentioned in the beginning and these are the values that we have substituted for positive value and the negative values here I have omitted the negative value because in this formula we have an absolute sign here you know the absolute sign is used because if I do not use the absolute sign the answer in every case this is 89 over 48 roughly speaking so if I do not use the negative uh, absolute sign in order to get rid of the negative sign the answer will always be less than zero and all of the answers would be less than zero which means that no project would be recommended because we are not concerned about the negativity of the cost we are concerned with the magnitude of the two values which one of them is greater regardless of their nature if they are positive or negative so this is why we compare them in a way where we have neutralized the negative sign and the ratio of it is calculated so the ratio is 1.8584 which is greater than 1 which means that the numerator which is net benefits is greater than the denominator which is the investments so the project is a desirable one now we can recommend for the CN the NK ratio is this and it means this and it is again devoid of units because both of the units here and here they will be cancelled out and it's uh, a favorable project because total favorable net benefits that were in green color that is 89.271 they were greater than the total unfavorable net benefits they were in red color that is 48.037 so definitely it is desirable because the volume of the desirable values is greater than the volume of undesirable values now you can bring in your mind the values of NPV we remember that the NPV was positive and BCR we also remember that the value of BCR was greater than 1 and now we have seen that NKR is also greater than 1 so the same project is being verified to be a uh, desirable project by using NPV, BCR and NK ratio. All three measures of project worth are signifying that it's a desirable project and we can go with it because uh, there is no controversy till now all the DMPWs they are signaling in the same direction. However, we can also calculate another tool and we can also calculate even more than that but in this uh, uh, sequence of videos we will focus on four of them and that will be discussed after this thank you